don't sell anything online until you watch this hey i'm jr fisher and i've been selling online for 12 years now and i've made millions of dollars of selling both digital and physical products in this video i gotta share with you the eight things that i've learned eight mistakes i've made things that really will hold you back if you don't do them um, i think you're going to be really surprised at the last one uh, but they're all really good and they've really taught me a lot because i screwed up a lot of these i don't want to see you screw them up make sure you watch this video to the very end don't forget to subscribe hit that subscribe button down there if it's red you want to click it turn it gray don't forget turn on all bell notifications that way you'll be notified each and every time i do a new video just subscribing will not notify you need to do that and i want to see your comments below too what'd you think of this have you made any of these mistakes okay i know i made a bunch of them uh and I, anyhow i got this list here and i just got to share it with you number one and this is the thing i did not do in the beginning i'm telling you i didn't do it get organized get organized and i'm talking your inventory your uh, accounting uh whatever it is get organized find a way to get organized and i'll, I'll give you a little thing that that really helped me out a lot is i i got a uh, a password app on my phone now and i have all my passwords on it uh what's funny is you will start to accumulate uh passwords as you start to sell online and if you don't have a password app i promise you you're going to be scrambling or you're going to be resetting your password so much it's going to waste so much of your time i don't want to see you do that get organized also your finances your accounting this stuff is so important i'm very lucky um, i have a wife who's really good at accounting and she keeps all this stuff straight um, so i have somebody like that if you don't have somebody like that and you're not like uh, that to where you're really organized you need to find somebody you really do you need to get somebody who's going to stay on top of this don't don't go six months or a year and not do all your accounting i mean this should be done really on a daily basis um, but at the very least monthly number two is schedule your time schedule your time when you work for yourself um, what is really liberating um, is that you can do what you want every single day i mean whatever you want this is number two you can do whatever you want every single day but you need to schedule your time because if you don't you're going to find yourself gravitating to the things you like to do or the things that are easy to do and unfortunately when you have your own business there's going to be a lot of things that are not easy to do there's going to be a lot of things that are not fun to do but they need to be scheduled today i'm shooting videos um, nothing else comes above that okay today i have to shoot these videos and uh, i'm going to shoot 12 videos today which is a bunch in a day um, but that's how i choose to do it i don't want to shoot a video every single day and set up the camera and the lights and you know get my hair fixed and get the right shirt on and all that um, the other days i want to dress like a bum okay i want to i want to be comfortable so i have to organize my time organizing your time is super important um, don't start your day when you feel like getting out of bed you need to start your day at a set time every day you need to work to a set time every single day can you take some time off every now and then sure you can can you take a longer lunch every now and then sure you can but you do need to schedule your time to get everything done number three and some of you aren't going to want to hear this don't get a partner get a team uh, what i mean by that is if you go into business with somebody and this is my advice to everybody is to not go into business with somebody else some people say well i've had a great partnership for years and it's worked out great jr and my partner's awesome and we do an equal amount of work well the odds of that happening are almost zero okay if you if you've got a relationship like that and that's worked out well for you more power to you um, but I like having a team instead. Uh, nobody owns my business, but me, uh, nobody tells me how to run my business. Will I, will I take advice? Sure. From somebody who knows what they're talking about. Um, but the bottom line is I don't want to partner. I've seen so many businesses go south because they picked the wrong partner. And here's the funny thing about a partnership. Um, you expect that you'll both put in equal amount of effort it's humanly impossible okay so if you're the person that's working more than the other one you may get jealous you may say well that person's getting as much money as me but i'm working harder than them um, so you, you just you're going to get into a situation where it's not pretty so i'd much rather have team members and that is people i go out and hire to do individual tasks or individuals that work for me to do individual tasks than to have a business partner i don't want a business partner ever 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 i just don't want one that's my advice you do what you want if you go against this one and later on it doesn't work out you're gonna go ah oh, i should have listened to jr so you've got to uh maybe listen to this one don't get a partner number four is don't spend like a drunken sailor um, we have days that are higher than others okay uh, i just got ready to do these videos this morning and as i was coming in here we got an order for fifty nine thousand dollars one order fifty nine thousand dollars 
I don't get an order for $59,000 very often. Okay. Most people will spend, you know, a thousand or 1500. Some people spend $27. I have multiple businesses. You know, I have a survival food company and that's where that order came from. Um, I did have an order for a hundred thousand uh, dollars at one point, which was very nice. I've had orders for a quarter million dollars, which were very nice, uh, but I don't have those every day. So I've got to understand that when I take in these larger orders and this stuff happens, I've got to allocate my money accordingly. What you want to do is to try to live on the lowest amount of money you possibly can. Now you may not want to hear that because you've heard, Hey, I want to start an online business and get rich. And I want to just spend like crazy. I wouldn't recommend you doing that until you have say millions of dollars in the bank. You never know how long you're going to go where the income is not where it should be. So watch your money, watch your money, watch your money. Remember, you're not going to be getting a paycheck every week like you would on a job number five i think is really important automate everything you can i automate everything i automate emails uh, i automate payments i automate everything i can because if you can automate these things if you can use software and i do recommend a software called kartra i'll put a link below you can click on it you can watch a video on it uh, if you're interested in Kartra, which I think you will be after you see the video, uh, but it can automate all kinds of parts of your, your digital business. It's just amazing, but you got to watch the video. Uh, and then if you do want it, uh, you can get a trial for $1. So check out Kartra, uh, but that's an automation software. I automate payments at the bank, you know, to go out to certain bills. I automate everything I possibly can. I'm telling you, the more you automate, the more you'll have time to create, create makes you money. Automation saves you time. Number six, don't do what you hate don't do what you hate you know in the beginning I, I did everything I didn't hire anybody out for anything uh, and a lot of the things the task I was doing uh, and I understand in the beginning if you don't have a lot of money you have to do it all yourself but as soon as you can allocate the things you hate the better off you're gonna be you're gonna be you know more inspired on a daily basis you're gonna get more accomplished when you're doing things you hate whether it be accounting or you know whether it's payroll systems and I have all this stuff automated those are the things that I just don't want to do I just don't want to do it so I allocate those to somebody else number seven is build a list now i mean right now build a list of people that you can sell to now some of you may say well jr i don't even have my products ready yet i mean i'm gonna do sporting goods but i don't even have any products yet i don't care build a list build a list start putting content out there and having people opt in to get on your list offer them a free download or something if i had done this in the beginning like i should have uh, i would have made a lot more money i can tell you that uh, and i do have a good list now but it's it's not as big as it could have been so don't wait don't say well i want to have you know my website up and 50 products on there and all that stuff just don't wait just start building your list now get people who are interested now in whatever you're doing whatever that niche is and say hey get on my list i'm gonna give you this free download come up with some kind of download get people on your list so you can start building it because here's the cool thing imagine let's say you were going to build a restaurant you were going to do barbecue sandwiches when you open the restaurant as we all know there nobody knows about you okay you open your doors you hope people come in but what if you had a hundred thousand people that love barbecue sandwiches in that particular neighborhood and knew about you and when you open the doors all those people came flooding in that'd be pretty nice right well that's essentially what it's like to build a list that thing can happen and you can make a lot more money in the beginning if you start building your list i waited i waited years before i worked on a list which was stupid but i'm just trying to share with you the things that i didn't do that you should do the last one the last one is really hard to get across to people but realize that things are going to take longer than you think i mean everything's going to take longer than you than you think you know I, I just built this house a brand new house here and uh they told us it'd be 120 days and it was how long was it let's see uh eight months eight months is more than 120 days i think that's double that that's 240 days um but that it, things take longer than you realize there's going to be delays there's going to be problems you know if you're putting up a website it's going to take longer than you think to get the website up if you're building a list it's going to take longer than you think if you're trying to buy inventory and get it delivered to you it's going to take longer than you think if you want to make a lot of money it's going to take longer than you think now i was very lucky in my second year i hit a million dollars in sales uh, very lucky but you know i had a lot of struggles between you know that ten dollar sale and that million dollars in sales so just realize it's going to take longer than you think don't quit keep putting forth the effort i think that's what i see in a lot of people is they'll try two or three things and they don't quite work out and they just quit and say i tried that it doesn't work i did a, i did a video the other day on youtube but it was about drop shipping and how to make money on drop shipping and somebody's comment was i tried that and it didn't work <sighs> 
all I could say to him was what you tried didn't work, but drop shipping works. Okay. Drop shipping. I mean, home Depot, Walmart. I mean, some of the biggest, uh, Amazon, some of the biggest companies in the world are drop shippers. Okay. They use drop shipping and they drop ship. So drop shipping does work. That person just put it on themselves and said, drop shipping doesn't work. It's not true. They just did some things wrong, or maybe they didn't try hard enough, or maybe they had the wrong product all these things work people are making money at it uh, and if i want to get this across to you if somebody else is making money doing something online okay then you can too you've just got to figure out what they're doing and how they're doing it and that's why i share these videos with you guys so that you know what to do please believe me when i tell you you can do this stuff okay that fifty nine thousand dollar sale i just told you about uh, with some of our canned meats uh, we sell survival food uh, i own a company called survival k food and i will tell you when i started selling these canned meats i had a lot of people say nobody's going to buy those jr nobody's going to buy that product now i've since sold millions and millions of dollars of that product uh, but i've had so many people tell me that i couldn't sell those products and it always came from somebody who didn't sell those products. It always came from somebody who was not an entrepreneur, somebody who hadn't done anything and they were going to impose their lack of confidence on me. Don't let people do that to you. Don't let your friends and family tell you what you can't do because they haven't done it. They almost don't want you to do it because if you do it and they don't do it, how does that make them look? So ignore all those negative people. Okay. Just get away from those negative people. Don't listen to those negative people. You can do this. It's all in your head. Uh, that came from a guy I watched, um, in, uh, shoot Key West. He trained cats, uh, and he would actually talk to the cats. He'd say, you can do it. It's all in your head. And he would have them walk in a tightrope. And I'm sure somebody told him at one point, yeah, you, you can't have cats walk in a tightrope, but he did. And you can do it it's all in your head don't forget to subscribe hit that subscribe button down there if it's red turn it gray when you turn it gray you'll be part of the fisher crowd hey you want to be part of the fisher crowd right jr fisher training crowd and don't forget to ring the bell turn on all bell notifications so you're notified each and every time i go live i want to thank you so much for watching this video i hope you got some benefit out of it if you did do me a favor put a comment below let me know what you thought of it if you have some ideas for other videos you can put that below too i also have a free course it's a 97 dollars course it's below this video you can click and learn no credit card required all you have to do is click and get the free information thank you so much for listening and i'll see you in the next video Hey, thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell right there so you can be notified every time I do a new video. Also, click on one of those videos there. Keep watching on my channel.